Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this kind of everyday slash glam slash fall with the deep lip kind of look. Um, I guess you could wear it like out to the movies or if you're going on a date or just out with your friends. So if you want to learn how to do this look, keep on watching. So first I'm starting by priming my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot in the color Groundwork. Just making sure that's very well blended. Swooping it all through my crease and all over my lid and blending it out. Now I'm going into my Naked One palette and I'm taking Naked all on my lid. And then I'm just sweeping Buck through my crease and blending it out just to set that primer that I just put on. I'm using a fluffy shadow brush to pack on Bisque by MAC onto my lid. Now going into my Kat Von D Monarch palette, I'm picking up Wrath and sweeping that through my crease with the blending brush. Blend everything out with my 785 Bedellium Blending Brush. Just really get in those edges and make sure there's no harsh lines. Now just to soften up my crease a little, I'm going to go in with Saddle by MAC and just really blend that out and even swoop that a little bit like in the inner corner of my eyes. I'm carving out my lid a little with Kat Von D Vanish and I'm using a flat shadow brush and just packing it on. Once again, I'm blending everything out. Guys, the key to flawless makeup is blending. You have to blend. So now I'm just dipping back into that Kat Von D Wrath just because I feel like I lost a little of the color when I put that saddle on. And I'm just blending that out with my Bedellium blending brush once again. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm taking Virgin from my Naked One palette just to give my brow bone a slight highlight. Okay, so today I kind of skimmed through my eyeliner just because I want to make you guys a personal wing liner video so that it doesn't take up too much time in this one. But today I went in with my L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner in the color Black is Black. It's my favorite right now. It lasts all day. It doesn't move. It doesn't get all smudgy on your shadow. It's the best. Now just to give my crease a little more depth, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Monarch palette once again and pick up Shadow Box and just sweep that through my crease with the pencil brush and then blend it out with my MAC 239 blending brush. So now that my eyes are done, I'm going to prime my face with my Natural Cosmetics Makeup Perfecting Primer just to give me a smooth canvas before I go to apply my foundation. With the Coastal Sense foundation brush, foundation, really Deja? Foundation brush, I'm just dabbing in with my L'Oreal Tree Match Lumi foundation in the color Soft Sable. And then I'm just blending everything out with my Beauty Blender from Sephora. But honestly, I'd suggest you guys to go to Namie's to get yours because they have way better deals. Instead of getting one for 20, you could get like two for 20. So yeah, holla at Namie's. I'm setting my foundation with my MAC Studio Fix Powder, which I can't even tell you what shade it's in because I've had it for so long and like the sticker came off. So yeah, I'll try to figure it out and link it in the description bar. Now 
Now I'm just highlighting my face with my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. And I'm just taking that under my eyes, my chin, my cupid's bow, and down my nose and my forehead. <laughs> oh my god, I totally just sprayed that in my face. Okay, so now I'm just spraying it on my beauty blender and not in my eyes. I'm going to spray my dewy skin, bleh, my NYX dewy skin finish onto my beauty blender and just use that to blend out everything, all that concealer. I prefer to use a blue, blue oh my gosh, really Deja? I prefer to use a beauty blender versus a brush because I just feel like it gives you a more flawless like airbrush look versus just cake face if that makes sense so yeah now with a beauty wedge or a beauty sponge or a uh, makeup wedge whatever you want to call it I don't know I feel like everyone calls it something different I'm just setting underneath my eyes my chin my cupid's bow down my nose and my forehead with my Benai Banana Powder. Now sculpting right underneath where my contour will go, I'm just taking my Benai Powder and Topaz to give my skin a little more warmth. The struggle. I was just having such a hard time putting my lashes on. I had to do it off camera. It was getting crazy. But now I'm just taking my Real Techniques contour brush and just swiping all that extra powder off my face. Now to give me that Kim K sleek contour, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Sculpting Duo and mix that with my Makeup Forever contour kit. Both of the dark shades from those palettes, I'm just mixing those together and just blending that out on my cheeks. Now with that same Real Techniques contour brush, I'm dusting away all of that topaz from underneath my contour. Adding some blush, big blush actually, by Milani and Luminoso and Coralina, my face. For bronzer, I'm mixing my Milani Bake Bronzer in the color Glow, mixed with Glam Glow in the color Sun Bronze, and blending it all over. Now, to make me glow like a disco ball, I'm using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Press in Topaz and my Makeup Forever Dual Sculpting Kit, the highlighter shade. With those same highlighters, I'm just going to give my inner corners a little glow. Now to really complete my eye look, I'm going to add some mascara. And I'm using my e.l.f. 3-in-1 mascara in the color Very Black. Last but not least, I'm taking my Sephora Liquid Lipstick in the shade 14 and mixing that with my Wet n Wild Lipstick in Black. And I got this vampy lip. Ooh. Alright, so this is my finished look. My everyday glam fall look. Alright, bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. See you later.